Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Hindash and today we're gonna to be doing a lilac look. So it's gonna be purple with chocolate tones. I really like infusing, I'm talking like I'm cooking. <laughs> not infusing, I'm not really cooking. I love using chocolate brown with color. So I feel like that makes it really, really wearable. So any color you're thinking of wearing, add a bit of that warm chocolate tone into it. And it really ties it together in a in such a nice way. Today I decided to go for lilacs. I feel like lilac and purples are very flattering. They work on all skin tones from very fair to very dark. So I think that's a color worth looking into. <laughs> my model for today is my friend Besma. You've seen her on my channel before. I love her so much. I love all my models because we end up becoming really good friends. So that's always a good thing. <laughs> and yes, I'm a bit uh, tanned and burnt at the same time. So again, I'm not gonna talk too much about this look. If you enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel, hit the link below, and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because that would help me out a lot. And I love creating new videos for you guys and it just really excites me because, because my YouTube family is where it's at, really. Let's be real. <laughs> so if you guys enjoy this video and keep watching, bye. All right, so I'm gonna start off with skincare and to freshen up her skin, I'm using the Caudalie Moisturizing Toner. And this is just gonna freshen up her skin, clean any traces of makeup that have been left behind from cleansing. Don't forget to take it down the neck. And I always like to freshen up the skin with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This really just wakes up the skin and makes you feel really fresh and energized. This has been my go-to skincare routine on clients. So I'm gonna be taking the Dior Plump Filler. This is a serum and I love to use this all over the face as a light moisturizer if you're really oily. And if you're a bit normal to dry, I like to go in with another cream. So then I'm taking the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I love this eye cream, it's just like I said before, a very basic eye cream in a very good way. Uh, makeup sits beautifully on top of it. And then my current favorite moisturizer, the Embryolis Le Creme Concentré. And this acts as a great primer, as a great moisturizer. It's such a good product. And just massaging it all over the skin to wake the skin up. For lips, I'm taking the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream Intensive Lip Repair Balm and putting that all over the lips as a mask. As a primer, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Blur Stick in her T-zone and the cheeks. And this is a very thin formula, so I really like it. And you just want to tap it in, it kind of just really disappears into the skin because it has no silicones in it, which is great. For foundation, I'm taking the NARS True Glow Foundation in Barcelona. And I'm going to be applying that all over the skin in very thin layers because Besma has great skin, so I don't really want to mask everything. And just buff everything very gently. I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush. For contour, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha. I love this contour and I love the matchsticks. And I'm going to be applying it as a contour and as a bronzer as well, but really more to just shape the face and contour. And I love contouring the nose. I love doing the tip of the nose always. And I'm doing it a bit on the lips as well as a contour to make them look fuller. I'm going to blend everything with the foundation brush that I used earlier because I love blending with the foundation brushes because it already has a bit of that foundation, so it makes everything blend much more easily. I accidentally didn't film this part, but for eyes, I just used a warm brown in the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the Viseart Liaison Eyeshadow Palette. I'm taking that lilac color as my main color and packing it on the lid. So you wanna do this with a pack or brush. So you really wanna build this color by tapping it instead of blending it around. And Viseart eyeshadows are incredible quality, so you really don't need to do much. I'm gonna line her eyes with a brown pencil. I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Whiskey, which is a brown. And I'm gonna be creating my usual soft wing and blending it out with a brush, just to make everything crisp. And I'm gonna be taking that lilac shimmery color in the Viseart palette and putting it in the inner corners of the eyes, just to give it an interesting twist. I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going in with the matte darker brown and sort of blending it over the liner that we did. And I'm gonna take that warm brown in the palette and just intensify the crease a bit more because we've done a lot of um, color work back and forth, so you might lose a bit of that edge. For mascara, I'm taking the Hourglass Caution Mascara and I'm letting Besma do the work. <laughs> For brows, I'm taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 6, and Besma has great brows, so I'm not doing much. Just filling any tiny gaps. I'm putting a bit of individual lashes on. These are the Ardell Individuals in Medium, as always. I love these. For concealer, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Golden Beige. And I'm going to dot that lightly in areas that I want to conceal and highlight. And I'm blending everything in with a Real Techniques setting brush. This brush is one of my favorite brushes. It is the setting brush, and I use it for everything. You can use it for foundation, for cream 
a blush cream highlight pro powder you can use it as a big eyeshadow brush if you wanted to such a good brush and as you can see it blends concealer so beautifully because it's like just the right size for cream blush i'm taking the nude sticks nudies matte and sunset strip i've pretty much been obsessed with this blush lately and again i'm taking that real technique setting brush using it for pretty much everything and with cream blush, I really love to stipple the blush on and kind of blend the edges as I go. Using my setting brush again, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and setting the face very lightly and strategically. Because Besma doesn't really need a lot of powder, so I'm just setting the under eyes and a bit of the highlight areas, keeping the cheeks powder free. For blush, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in the shade Fresco. And this is a really light beige tan color with a bit of a shimmer through it. And because I'm not using highlighter, it's going to kind of give the cheeks a healthy glow because Besma doesn't like highlighter. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm taking the NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm using that with the Real Techniques powder brush. I think this is a powder brush. It's a big fluffy um, sort of powder bronzer brush that they have. For contour and a matte highlight, I'm taking the NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and this is the powder one. And I'm going to use that matte banana shade to sort of highlight the tip of her nose and the bridge. And I love doing this trick. And then taking the two sort of more neutral contour colors and putting that on the lower tip of the nose to really lift and across the bridge. And then I'm just going to tap everything in with my foundation brush just to make sure everything's blended. And re-intensifying the highlights with a bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. For lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Spice Girl. I'm just lining the lips and filling them in completely. Because I really want that grunge, grayish lip color. And for lipstick, I'm using the MAC Bronx Lipstick and patting that on top. I'm going to set her face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I haven't used this setting spray in a while and it's a fantastic one. So good. Because I'm going for that matte base. And that completes the look. I hope you guys really like this look. I love doing more pops of color with neutrals. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.